Ho, 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 lads. Merry Christmas Eve. Today we are going to be going over the new cards in the season that is the season set. It is clear that this is not the season of giving like last year. This is the season of taking your money. With a grand total of zero cards to be played for. And a grand total of zero new cards to be in a locker code tomorrow. By the looks of things, by the looks of things, sorry, so, uh, Santa BG's beard is getting into his mouth for some reason. I cannot stop this. For some reason, for some reason, outside of the spirit of Christmas, 2K, instead of giving us stuff, is deciding that this is going to be the season of taking and not the season of giving. Very, very disappointed. Santa BG is very, very disappointed. So... Now, let's get on to it. So first of all, we've got Brent Barry, Mo Bamba, and Rudy Fernandez. Brent Barry, 15 golds. Okay, at least... Why does Mo Bamba only have 9 badges? It's Christmas! It's Christmas time! At least give the budget guys something for the holidays. But Brent Barry, he's not fast, he has a decent 3 ball, he plays no defense, and, oh my god, I need to take off this beard. This beard, oh, it's, it's literally just getting in my mouth, so. B DBG is back, lads. DBG is back. Santa BG is gone. DBG is back. Um, But, uh, Brent Barry stinks. He genuinely sucks. Base 60 is not, not that bad. Not good either. Oh, I still have a bit of beard. Um, He sucks. He actually sucks. Okay, so then we have got here, we have got Rudy Fernandez, 81 3 ball, 82 speed, no defense, 90 driving dunk, no real great shooting badges, no quick first step, base 67, which is awful. Why is he a freaking clone of Brand? No, 2K! Why is he a Trey Murphy clone? Why is he another Trey Murphy clone? You've given us two Trey Murphy clones in two weeks. Why is he a Trey Murphy clone? If you guys don't know what a Trey Murphy clone is, it's this guy right here. They are just cloning random NBA players off Trey Murphy. Look at this. They are clone they've cloned Brandon J in two two weeks. In two weeks we have had two Trey Murphy clones. Why is Rudy Fernandez a dunking shooting? Athletic guard and Brandon Jennings a shifty point guard a clone of a random six foot eight big man rookie from the Pelicans Why is he a Trey Murphy clone? And not only that why have we got two in two weeks? Why have we had two Trey Murphy clones in two weeks 2k? This is pathetic. I don't care if you are off work I don't care if you are off, like there's no one that's gonna change this. I don't care that you're off work because this isn't something that shouldn't should have happened in the first place. I know this isn't going to be fixed, and I don't expect someone to come in and fix this. I'm complaining right now. I do not expect this to be fixed because, again, people working at, on the game, please enjoy your Christmas break. But this shouldn't have happened in the first place. Not once, but it's happened twice in two weeks. This shouldn't have happened once, but it's happened twice. Come on. Trey Murphy? Of all people, Trey Murphy... Mo Bamba. Uh, he's kind of bad as well. And 2K's um, lack of... We have had four drops this season. We've had one good Ruby player. One. Uno. I mean, Mo Bamba's probably the second best Ruby center. He is probably the second best Ruby center. But, like, if actual good ones, Travis Hayes. What have 2K done to our Rubies? They're literally just giving us garbage men for Rubies. I expect us to just accept it. Like, we are literally just getting a bunch of garbage men as rubies. I don't get it. Like, like I don't get it. Why are, Why do we have three garbage men? And then, like, again, it's like last week in Signature Series. In fairness, we had one non-garbage man. Jarvis Hayes was okay. Like, we had better... We were getting better rubies. In... Like, RJ Barrett's as good as these rubies. We were getting better rubies two months ago. 
Like, they think that just because they're going to give us... It's, the 2K think that because they're just going to give us good high-rated players, that people aren't going to be pissed. That's, the, that's why I like the start of the year. 2K did a really good job of giving good player or giving people that spend a lot of money the slight advantage, but also giving good budget cards. They haven't given us a good budget card in a long time. Well, a good extreme budget card. Especially for new players coming out Christmas. They're going to get these Ruby cards, and they're going to get blown out by 50 because they're bums. But, um... Vince Carter, Amethyst, 87 speed, 85 three ball. He looks basically the same. 83 lateral, 95 dunk. He looks basically the same as the uh, pink diamond Vince without a couple of extra half badges. Like a minus two three ball. The stats are irrelevant. They're so close to each other. Um, He doesn't have like limitless takeoff, but I'm telling you, if you, if you liked the other Vince, he is a taxi downgrade Vince. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. I'm just going to say this. He's not bad at all, this Vince Carter. Here we get Evan Mobley. He is a power four slash center. 81 speed, 84 three ball. No real ball handle. 82 lateral, 80 driving duck, 84 post, 84 post fade. He's not, he doesn't look terrible. He doesn't look terrible. 62 block, 92, or 62 steel, 92 block. 82 lateral, really solid defense. Steel's not great. He's kind of like Jaron Jack. He's looking like a worse Jaron Jackson Jr. I don't know what base 84 is. Oh, that's that's a good release. Obviously can't dribble, but Mobley's good. Like if Mobley is like 10 KMT, he's actually very solid for his price. The only th re thing is with, with Mobley is that not Mobley, Mikan is 20k. Like, and George Mikan is just better than Mobley. It's just the truth of it. Like, George Mikan is better than Mobley. And Mike is 20k. So, if he's somehow over 20k, which he could well be, I don't think he's going to be worth it that. I think he's fine. But he's not. People are telling me Mobley was God. But, like, I, I think he's good. Like, half post playmaker is good. He's not spectacular. He's not brilliant, like. And we got Rex Chapman. So, Rex Chapman right here. 40 goals, okay. One half, half limitless take of 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 three ball. Goal limitless spot of please have shifty or quick. Please have. If he has shifty or quick, this is one of the best two guards in the game. I'm not even joking. If he has shifty or quick, this is one of the best two guards in the game. He can get the defensive badges that are needed. Please. Base. <sighs> I mean, we've got one good, one usable card. That is below diamond. Like we have one usable card that's below diamond, lads. I'm not even saying one good card. Like, Mobley... I mean, no. Nah, Rex Chapman's usable. Rex Chapman's usable. We have one good card below diamond. He's at 40 golds, but he's undersized. Can only play to two. Can't play to one. And he can't really play much defense. Like, he would need... He'd need quicker shifty to be it. And even at that, what's behind the back? Steph Curry, that's terrible. That's terrible. And it's unfortunate that we have a, a Trey Murphy clone, another one there. Okay, at least like cheap Michael Jordan might be good. David West, Scotty Jordan. And again, the only difference between these guys is that these guys can get every badge. I personally love this 90s card out. This is my favorite of the 20th or the 75th cards. Okay, David West. 73 speed. Oh my god. He's not awful. Like base 40. He's actually going to be a good pick and pop shooter. But like. I mean he's not even as good as Wang Zhizhi. Like he's 6'9 with 73 speed. Like he's not even as good as Wang Zhizhi. I'm sorry. He's not even as good as Wang Zhizhi. That's disappointing. That is really disappointing. Scotty Pippen. 85. Scotty's going to be God, by the way. Just a heads up. Scotty's going to be God. Half clamps, half intercept, or goal interceptor. Intimidator on gold. Goal quick first step. He can get every shooting badge in the game. Wait a minute. The only machine this card in the 75th is like no rhythm shooter. He can still get all the key. Well, no quick chain. No quick chain. That's another thing. Scotty Pippen has got um Scotty Pippen has got base 30 and he's also got his own behind the back. 
And he's big. Can't play the two, unfortunately. That's a little bit annoying. But he's actually very, very solid at power forward. He's very, very solid. And Michael Jordan, 77 three ball. I just want to compare to Jordan's. Are they the same card? Like, I didn't really like the pink diamond Jordan. Uh, One difference in half badge. They're copy and paste. the same card. They're the same card. And also, yeah, 75th Scotty can't play power forward. So, go with the other Scotty over 75th Scotty. That's a bit of a weird one. Again, maybe. I don't I don't want 2k to send someone into work on Christmas Eve, though. Actually, they're working remotely. It's not as bad. I really don't want 2k to send someone into work, but there are a lot of errors with this set. I'm still pissed that he's a Trey Murphy clone. Okay, then we're on to the um, Pink Diamonds. And these guys have to be good. Like, it's Blake Griffin. It's three guys with really good animations. Like, Blake's release is really good. Like, 80 ball handle on Blake, 85 speed, 85 three ball. Plays no defense. I mean, he's not good. He's not awful, but he's not good either. Are these the same card? No. Lower shot IQ, lower free throw. You know what? They're slightly different. I thought they were copy and paste. They're slightly different. They're slightly different. They're very slightly different. They're not the same card. They're not the same card. They're slightly, slightly different. They changed two or three stats. Because they changed two or three, they're not they're technically copy and paste. But um, go quick for a step. These are like the same badges. This is literally his last year's level 40. Like, he's not even as good as George Mikan. Explain to me what he does better than George Mikan. He doesn't do anything better than George Mikan except dribble the ball. And then they nerfed they nerfed the Kyrie behind the back and power dribble style sucks. Like, he's not Blake's not good. Blake's really not good. Rudy. Rudy could be the best player in the game. Like his release is one of the best in the game. Um, goal clamps, goal interceptor, goal quick first step. 90 lateral. Um, no, why can he not get range? I, I'm cool with this. I'm completely cool with this in a way. And I'm annoyed in a way. I'm... Uh, whatever. It is what it is. I'm just I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that the budget cards are bad. I don't even care if the good, if the higher cards are good. I'm just pissed off the budget cards are bad. Quick dribble stop. Okay, okay. I understand why he doesn't have range then. If you gave him range, he's the best player in the game by a mile. I kind of understand it now. Scotty behind the back, quick dribble stop, Rudy base. Like, I'm telling you, if this card, if this card had range, it's the best card in the game. And it's not even close. So I understand why 2K did it now. I honestly do understand why 2K did it. This guy's still one of the best cards in the game. Like I'm, I'm in a bad, like I'm in a little bit of bad movies of the budget cards. These are the only cards I'm gonna afford. But, like I'm, I will admit it when I say it, this is one of the best cards in the game. Like, he's not a perfect defender, but he's a serviceable enough defender. And um, you can give him chef. So, if you're trying to use quick, if you're trying to use his quick dribbles, like he's gonna move so nice. Like he's gonna move so nice. He's one of the best cards in the game. He is one of the best cards in the game. Period. And we got Kawhi Leonard. Can play the two. Interesting. 93 speed, 93 status, 97 lateral, 97 steal, 93 ball. Okay. Half interceptor, half clamps, half intimidator, half mess, half off ball pest. Half quick first step, goal limit. This is the best player in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I've just skipped Rudy. Rudy is the best too. He's better than Kobe. I don't care. I don't care that he has Kawhi Leonard dribble style. This Kawhi Leonard dribble style is not awful. He's got the Kawhi behind the back, which is good. Ray Allen base. Wow. I don't see how Steph Curry or LeBron are going to be better than this card. I don't see how either of them are going to be better than this card. He's perfect. Like, Rudy at the three, Kawhi at the two. What, what better combo are you getting than that? What com better combo are you getting than that? Like, like Kawhi with his own signature defensive stance, like... He's like, imagine if they gave Jimmy Butler range and a better release. He's insane. And half quick for his step. He's absolutely insane. 
So then we got LeBron and Stephen Curry, lads. So, so far, Kawhi is the best player in the set. So far, Kawhi is without question the best player in the set. LeBron James, first Galaxy Opal. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 86 three ball. Okay. 95 lateral, 90 driving dunk. He's, he's got essentially perfect stats. Couldn't even give him, couldn't even give first over LeBron 86 ball handle. Really? Half clamps, half interceptor, okay. Half pogo, half chase down artist, half dimer, half bullet. Half difficult shots, half stop and pop. Can get range. This card in the 75th, I have the exact same card. Um, All of the exact same. LeBron James dribble style. Oh, Kawhi's better. I'm just putting it out there. Kawhi's better. LeBron's pretty good, though. Like, Kawhi is really, really good. Or, LeBron's really good. Kawhi's just better. Kawhi's the better player than LeBron James. I hate, I hate to admit it. Like LeBron is good. If you're getting, if you want to, if you want to use LeBron, he is insane. Actually, use LeBron a power forward. LeBron's probably better than Giannis. With his 14 halves, half interceptor, and big player build, LeBron's probably better than Giannis at the power forward position. He's probably just power forward in the game. Honestly, Kawhi. Oh, sorry. Normal LeBron can't get limp. Oh, I'm looking at the 75th. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm looking at the wrong LeBron. Normal LeBron can't get limitless. That is a bit of a difference. If you're playing a power forward, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, people are saying normal LeBron and Scotty. Let me just compare him to Scotty. I mean, LeBron's faster. LeBron gets half interceptor, which is huge. LeBron's definitely better than Scotty. People in my chat are currently saying that LeBron's barely better than Scotty. LeBron's a lot better than Scotty. Just gonna put it out there. LeBron's a lot better than Scotty. Um, Stephen Curry, 6'3", 6'3", wingspan, tiny player built. Uh, half chef, half limitless spot up. I mean, he is what he is. Yeah, go quick for a step, 93 lateral. Only a 70 dunk, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, there's nothing that is 75th can get that really matters. Actually, no, 75th can get Intimidator and Menace. Yeah, 75th kind of does matter. 98 ball handle, irrelevant. Still got Steph Curry dribble style. Still got all the Curry things. Curry on quick. So, like, it's not like Steph Curry is going to be a bad card. He's just going to be Steph Curry. We know what we're getting when it comes to Steph Curry. Like, we all know what we're getting when it comes to Steph. We know he's going to be undersized. We know he's going to be weak on defense. But we know offensively he's going to be absolutely brilliant. He's going to be absolutely brilliant. But, um, like, he's Steph. I'm going to be honest, these defensive stats don't matter because he's not going to play defense anyway. How much better is Steph going to be than... Well, no, you're top friends. Let's say how much better is he going to be than this Steph right here, but... In this one, but he does get half range, so... Yeah, he is going to be better. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So, thumbs down, all three of these rubies are all garbage, men. Vince Carter, I did, none of these guys are awful. But like Mobley will be okay, but I think Mobley's gonna be more he's gonna be more expensive than he's worth. In terms of the diamonds, if you really want to use Michael Jordan, I'm okay with it. Scotty's really good. David West sucks. Pink diamonds, Blake kind of Blake at this stage, he's not great. Um when George Mike can exist, there's no reason for Blake. Um Rudy and Choir brilliant. Rudy and Choir absolutely brilliant. Two of these guys are insanely good. And then Steph's gonna be Steph, and LeBron's really good. So if you are someone who is balling on a budget. As expected for 2k if this is not for you if you're someone who buys this game at uh, Christmas and if you're somebody who bought this game on Christmas if you're watching this after Christmas and you're thinking of you're trying to look for good budget players do not buy any of these do not buy any of these if you are looking for good budget players honestly honestly there are day one rubies better than these like so let's count these badges we get nine badges here we have got 30 here, so we're at 39. 39 plus 15. 54. Jerry Sloan has more badges. Day one Jerry Sloan, by the way, has more badges than all three of these rubies combined. Day one Jerry Sloan has more badges than every one of these rubies combined. 
Whatever the hell 2K have done with new budget players, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they've done, but they're garbage. Every budget player is essentially garbage this entire season. I don't know what the hell they've done since Wong and Isaac, but they're doing everything they can to make sure that you cannot compete unless you pay money. But you better believe you can. You just don't use the new players. You just don't use the new players. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.